the thing is, is that you placed constraints on yourself based on utilizing what you had. Was that something you did before you entered into the self challenge? The self challenge, yeah, that was that was definitely part of the challenge, and and functionally, here's why, right? Because one of the things that I've learned with like big ambitious projects is it's really easy to to talk yourself out of doing it as soon as you encounter any large、uh, obstacle, right? So I'm like, one of the rules I'm gonna impose on myself is anything that is a perceived obstacle, just don't have it factor in, right? So to do a feature film properly, I would have to rent a camera and get it. Delivered here, right? I have to redecorate everything because obviously I have like, you know, known IPs everywhere. This is from Star Trek. This is from, you know, Warner Brothers slash DC Comics.、Um, there's Disney stuff everywhere, and to redecorate, I'd have to strip my entire apartment apart and then buy editing software because traditionally, you know, in my line of work, there's usually an editor, so I don't have to buy the software. I just sit there back, you know, backseat, edit with them. So a lot, a lot of prep would have had to have gone into doing it, quote unquote, properly. And I was like, well, let's just remove every single one of those obstacles and just start doing it, right? So what do I have? I have my phone. What do I have to light? Well, I can use my laptop screen to light things. I have a couple soft boxes. So it was really a matter of like, re- let's remove everything that would prevent me from doing this, and just fucking do it. And when it comes to props, whatever I have, I'll just write into the script if there's a prop I need. Or I think I need that I don't have my apartment. Well, guess what? It's not in the script anymore. I'll figure out some other alternative. So that was the challenge that I issued to myself, and it was、um, challenging. <laughs> I don't know how much director of photography experience you have, but some of the choices of the camera angles were really interesting. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure.、Um, the benefit of working in production for as long as I have is like. I could do a poor man's version of what I know experts do, right? This film is by no means like me trying to prove, like, look, I could do it, I could do it just as well as all the people that I typically hire. Quite to the contrary, right? It's like this is a low rent version of what you guys do. Please forgive me. When you're on a set, you osmose a little bit of everybody's skill set just by the fact of being there, being exposed to it. You know, there was thought that went into the angles, right? There was, in particular, like the coverage should be for everything I was trying to convey, right? Like, does this particular scene need a really wide establishing shot, or、um, can I get away with the medium? Does that lend itself to the mood of the, you know, just the really, really basic stuff is what I picked up from DPs when it comes to like. Artistry of of camera angles. One of the main things that a friend of mine told me was, if I want to create like isolation, I should make sure to shoot always past something, right? So a lot of the angles will have、um, something in the foreground, and so you, so you feel like everything's tighter, more intimate, right? Like I'm crammed in here with things.、Yeah.